you something, man. I watch your ex partner, your, not your partner, your ex host, mm -hmm. Skip. I don't even understand why all these other black athletes even go on the show now. I, I don't even understand what they're doing. It, to me, it's so clear that he needs black talent, athletes, rappers. He's doing everything to prop himself up. And I, I know he's getting paid over there and everybody else is getting pennies on the dollar. I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you go over there and do that? He clearly isn't the guy. He needs you. Why don't everybody lead a show and watch, let's watch him do it for, for a minute. That show would be dead immediately. They get all these guys over there, they give them pennies on the dollar, and he and they prop them up. I'm like, we got to stop doing that, man. We can't do that no more. It, it's not, it's not worth it. And there's nothing that comes out of it long term, except what they benefit from. I actually said the man. I watch your ex partner. Your, not and he's absolutely correct. Um, like I said, like I stated, Skip, on the spirit of Hakeem ain't doing too good when it comes to. His show on the screen that used to be on top. People used to tune in. You had a lot of people tune in. They try and do whatever they take to bring on the spirit back into the rain to the point they added little Wayne to the Friday show to bring the ratings back up again. But I can't, what is your take before we end the show? Go ahead. Shout outs to Aston Wim. The Avengers is in the building. That's our second family over there. You might as well say like, we're like adjoining to the hip. Yeah. Shout out to Aston Wim. <laughs> Live tonight, so guys, make sure you go over there and tune in. But go Memphis 10 toes down, West Memphis 10 toes down, West Memphis 10 toes down. We repping that today, 10 toes down. So, let me give my quick, quick take. We gotta blame the corporation for letting egotistical maniacs do what they want. This is what it is. If you want to lose a bat, go ahead. Skip is not going to be on the on the thing for too for too long. Yes, yes, we need, um, yes, we need um black actors and stuff. We need everybody. Everybody makes a big part in this. Not only Shannon and Skip. Some people add an allure to it. The back and forth was the allure that gave the show its presence. You feel me? You see what I'm trying to say? And the thing about it is when you lose your partner, and a lot of people fail to understand too, if the show is built up with just Skip, it probably would, but the show is built up with two people and stuff like that. A lot of people related to Shannon Sharp. A lot of people related to Skip. I related to Shannon Sharp. You know what I mean? I played football in high school. Shannon Sharp is a country boy. We're from the South. We re 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 Football is big for us. He spoke about how football fed his family and gave – um, perfect exposés from a perspective of a person who plays football. Skip spoke from a perspective from a person who watched it from the outside looking in. Ashton is a ball player. He played basketball in high school. I played football. We all played sports. Who you think we're gonna um look up to more and be more relative to compared to somebody like Skip? For people who didn't do it, he's gonna give a more critiqued idea from a person who looking at stats not purely based on talent no i'm agreeing with you facts keep going yeah, yeah so, so not purely based on talent and i want to say this um 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 urban north said something clearly he said it's not a one-man show both had views that was appreciated most definitely steve stout is speaking um, for someone who has no idea about this. Now, here's the thing where it starts to become an issue. Why it's viral? Because there was a racial element to it, a racial connotation to it. He said, we need to stop doing it. Go ahead. No, I'm agree with you. Go ahead. I give you your bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, said, he said there was a racial component to it that I think that Steve need to be careful about it. And we need to understand this. Shows legacies are built with so many different people you can't help it that it was a, it just so happened that skip was white and shannon sharp was black at that time when we was watching it that wasn't the idea of it nobody was pertaining to the race but he mentioning that now that you lost the component that built the show a lot of people don't understand 
It's going to take another 10 years to build what Shannon Sharp and Skip did together. It can go there if they get the right element in there. You feel me? Um, prime example, Joe Button, after losing Rory and Maul, look at the many years it took them to get back a, a group. I can honestly say they've even got better since they found the elements of people. This was going to happen. They got to find um, what it means what it means to do this. So we need to be careful when we bring racial elements onto it and just say that they just had a groove together. No, but let, let's keep it in mind. I'm, I'm going to talk about this because this actually is a fact. When Shannon Sharp did that interview with Cat Williams, Shannon Sharp stated he made more money than he actually made when he was actually in the NFL. That's a fact. That's not me even making up. That Cat Williams interview brought Shannon to a different level, different level of journalism than when he was at undisputed. When, don't get me wrong. Even though he was on undisputed, of course, both of their opinion was greatly appreciated. Undisputed have not been the same ever since Shannon left. I'm just being honest. And what? this is someone that act, actively used to watch undisputed. I don't watch him anymore because, of course, football season not on, football season not on anymore. But I need to go back to watching them again. But it, it was a different pushback. It was a different. It was different. It was a different energy because, like you stated, High King, which I totally agree. You say you had one part when Skill would come in with the facts and statistics. You had Shannon Sharp comes in with the passion and someone that actually lived as a football player. So that's why it made it a totally different. But now you got Keyshawn, you got Richard Sherman, you got um, you got the legendary um Michael Irvin on the panel. It's just that they they they're missing something. Sometimes, yeah. uh, some don't get wrong. Sometimes uh, Richard sometimes gets it, like he tried to bring that that fire back that's yeah. mentioned, but it just don't hit it like um um Sh um Shannon. So I think that's why Steve mentioned Shannon because people are watching the show and they seeing the the ratings have all going down, especially for a sports show like that. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Here's the thing that why high? I don't know where you come sometimes but you be hidden right on the money. Ratings are down in sports media overall. A lot of people not point because they laid off a bunch of people because we can go speak to an athlete on their podcast. That is so – well, I have my hands down. You, that There's nothing to talk there, about here. Yeah, it's every, really not. Every one of these goofies right. got a podcast now, and, they, I, and they're <laughs> getting their homeboys who in the league to come talk to them. Yep. Facts. It is. You know what I mean? And this is the thing, but I wanted to comment on what you said something, and I want Fresh Sun, Florida, and Norbert Noise and all y'all to answer this. When Shannon Sharp played in the league, I was too young to remember him. Let's yeah, get that Broncos. straight. Yeah, for the Broncos, Broncos. let's remember that. Mm -hmm. I know Shannon Sharp from Undisputed. So let's get some soon. He didn't get paid well. But Undisputed gave him a popularity when he shifted off to his own. It's like fitting to people was going to subscribe to him because, oh, that's the guy used to be with Skip. Let me subscribe to him. Facts. That so so, so yeah. where he didn't get paid at, he got in something that the corporation don't – you can't – they built his popularity up. They can't get the same thing with a rapper. After you make a rapper hot and the contract is over, you can't eat off him. You you spent millions of dollars of marketing on him. There was millions of dollars of marketing spent on Undisputed, help him to get famous. He became a household. I was too young to know him. I know Deion Sanders, um, um Deion Sanders, um, Michael Irvin, Joe Montana. There's certain people you, I didn't never remember Shannon Sharp. I re yeah, you know Skip, I mean? Skip did bring him. You're right. Skip did bring him on, on, on top of the map. That's why I say Skip, Skip pretty much took him to another level. He did. One more point I want to get that Steve Stout didn't understand. You ready for this? Go ahead. <laughs> You're supposed to get pennies. You didn't build the show. Why are we going to pay you top dollar? Do anybody know if Skip was the one who created the show and brought Shannon Sharp on? People don't like to understand it. Who invented the show? How Skip do you did. know? Huh? That was Skip's show. No, I'm saying that was Skip's Skip show. Skip. It was Skip's show. Yeah. So he created the idea and found a partner to come on with him. He probably know the Lester and Long. Some people outgrow each other. But when he say that, build the show and let's talk to me later then. 
That's why when, when people start having these conversations, they're not paying me right. They're not doing it. Did you make the show? Did you come up with the concept? Did you write the lyrics? Did you produce the songs? Did you build the team? Did you Are you the one who spun the million-dollar contract to get this and this guy to help um, play with you to go win the championship? But to me, um, to me, what Shannon should do is he'll negotiate his contract after you see like two years of him being on the show and the show is doing crazy numbers. That when his lawyers and his team was supposed to go to the management team like, hey, I need to get paid more. He should have did it then. He said, okay, he said, guys, um, um Shannon, Shannon was on was on NBC before Skip. That but is even true. then, nobody, but nobody was watching him on NBC. We didn't know who he was. I didn't remember him. And what's good with you, Terrence, man? Great seeing you, big dog. Shout out to Terrence. Shout out to Terrence, bro. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. it says Skip recognized the potential of Stephen A. Smith and Shannon and helped them along the way. And they said this too many times. 100%. Listen, Steve Stop been hit over the head with a bottle. Case closed. <laughs> and you and, and come on, man. Like, this is a guy who's known for running his mouth. Like, well, no, but for real, he was hit with a bottle. Yeah, Puffy beat Puffy beat that boy to a bloody poop. Hey, that's crazy. I, 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 I bro, that bro, I, bro, I didn't even know that he was hit with a bottle. Come on, man, that was the two thousand. They beat they. Steve stopped been getting punched for, for talking like that and slapped up by so many other rappers. He does backdoor stuff. They hit his head over head in the bottle. Man, I keep you wild, man. But how you be doing? How you be doing these type of information? You know, I Play follow. I, 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 I follow hip hop. I, I know the jokers. If I gotta come around them, I might hit them in the head with a bottle. <laughs> but he do. He do. That was it. I think. He, look, even Kid Dog laughing. Yeah. But that's what happen when you run your mouth. He do no. run his mouth. So. The, <laughs> hey, but you, hey, I ain't gonna lie. You just saw a shedding face. Cause shedding face. You're like, yeah. Keep talking. You talking good, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen. That's listen. I'm going to be honest with you. Shannon Shannon is not the most articulate. He just know when to shut up. <laughs> that's the that's the whole spew of his show. He knows when to shut up and let them talk. No. He did the no. same thing. Yeah, he did the same thing Taxstone did. Taxstone wasn't no magnif no magnifique um 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 podcaster. He didn't even ask the best question. Oh. He was a gangster. They knew he was a gangster in the street, and he shut up when people was talking. You can be the best podcaster if you just shut up. The people who are articulate, who knows how to talk, who knows how to um articulate and run their mouth, then you can say, let me download this episode. <laughs> Shannon Sharp just sat there and let the man run his mouth. He did. You, you can be the best podcaster in the world. You ain't no Joe Rogan, though. Joe no, Rogan going to ask some questions. Boy. You saw what he did with Cat Williams. You saw yeah. Cat oh, Williams listen. were like, "Oh Lord Jesus!" He, he could answer some of the questions, and then people using the excuse, "Oh, Cat Williams was high." I say, no, "No, I no, think no. he was scared." No, no. Joe Rogan has over a thousand episodes talking to many different people from different walks of life. Joe Rogan know how to ask a question. I don't listen. Y'all might not like when I say Cat Williams sounds smart to a dumb nigga. <laughs> You're not going to do that to a, a, a person who's educated. This Joe Rogan, we, this Joe Rogan sat here and went spa for par with Neil deGrasse, yeah. asking questions. Joe, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, at first, I didn't know how good Joe Rogan, oh. ill Joe Rogan was until one of my homeboys told me, yo, listen, listen to his, I was like, okay, cool. He said, um, he said, oh, shout out to New Jersey. He said, Shannon almost had 3 million subscriber cat interviews at 61 million views. 100%. It was hot. We give him to that. It was hot. He yeah, caught it at hot, the right the time. Is, the hot, the hot topic of the year. It was. Um, it, 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 um, I don't see. I don't see. I don't see nobody being that. His topic with Cat William is the hot one of the year. I think he's gonna get an award for that because his. I don't think nobody. I even think Joe Rogan was so impressed that you saw he brought Cat William to his show. Yeah, so, yeah. Joe's shout out to get, New Joe and Era. Shout out to him. One hundred percent. And why how you all right? He is a part of the get along, get along game. You know what I mean? He's supposed to ride the wave. Every I would have done the same thing too if I could afford it. No, but on uh, why high said something too. Shannon adds comedy to his show, which make people actually that, laugh and joke. That he is do. true. It is he's, true. He he's for a certain demographic. 
Yeah. I'm using a word I don't use usually. He says for a certain demographic. You come to him for the little spicy stuff. You know what I mean? And he brings the most controversial people on there. Steve Stout is controversial. You Listen, when I seen he had Steve Stout, I said, he's going to run his mouth. Yeah. This is a guy, if you go and type his name, and type his name in Google, multiple times he's been beat up. Multiple times he's been hit over the head with a bottle or broom <laughs> or, or whatever and stuff like that. And I'm just quoting. Multiple times. I have nothing against him. He's he's a masterful business person. He does backdoor stuff. He runs his mouth. Most rappers don't like him over the years. The younger guys don't know about it. But Nas, um, Ellie, all these other guys, 50 and Puffy, they done had to put hands on this. Oh, Dame Dash, for God's sakes, done had issues with this guy. You know what I mean? He's speaking on other man's business. Come on. Well, I came here, bro. I came today. You going in? I'm just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> you you do your research on this guy. I oh didn't yeah. I was until today. Listen, I wanted to be in the music business, but that's my dream. Still is my dream. So I want to know who was the jokers. Who's gonna Who's gonna make me take off my pants and and, and great me for the for, for 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 my records? I know he was one of them. Puffy was another one. I know these are guys you're not to trust. Birdman was another one. So I follow and I do research about these guys. All these guys are jokers, and 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 they here to play games with you. You can't take these guys serious when they're here talking. They they we have a new generation of people who didn't read magazines. I read magazines. I had um the source word up and all these stuff. So a lot of these stories came out in magazines. I read a lot. 